All right, y'all, it's a brand new semester and you are teaching a course this semester that let's say you've taught before on Canvas. So the slow and clunky way to do it is just to recreate everything. So recreate all your assignments, your discussion forums, re-upload all your files. The easier way to do it, of course, is to just import a previous section into the new section. I'm gonna show you how to do that because Canvas actually makes it pretty easy, but I know from experience because I've done this wrong that it takes a lot of work to, to undo these mistakes. So I wanna make sure everyone's doing it right the first time. So just as a last note before I go into this, I'm doing this in August, 2021. So Canvas should be stable for a while. So, but if you're looking at this in a few years, uh, it may change, some things may, may change. So um, you might wanna look for a newer video if that's the case, but okay. Well, here we are in the Canvas course shell. This is the course that I wanna import something into. So that's the one you wanna be in, this semester's course, and you wanna import a previous section. You're gonna go over here to the right on the homepage. You should see this over here. It says import course section, or Im I'm sorry, import existing content. So we're gonna do that. Now, the first thing you do is you select from the following. Most every one of us is going to copy a previous Canvas course, which is your first option. But if for some reason you have a zip file of a course that you've downloaded into that zip file, either from Canvas or from Blackboard or something else, you can also do that too. But for most of us, we're simply going to copy a Canvas course. That's what I'm going to do. So you can look for the course by name if you want to, if you don't see it in your roster, but if you look at this drop down menu canvas, look at this, this is absolutely beautiful. It uh, lays everything out for you very nicely. So I am going to import the same course, found, Foundations of American Education from my spring semester, which is really two semesters ago, into my fall semester. So I'm going to do this. I have no idea what this box does that says include completed course. Uh, I have never had to uncheck it, but um, I, you should probably keep that checked and you'll be fine. So you have two options under contents. You can import all of your course content from the previous section, which means your this section will literally just emulate what your last section was. Or if you wanna change, modify, recreate something, you can import select specific course content. I actually do select specific course content because in my experience, if you do all contents, it does things like all of your announcements from the previous section. I don't know about you all, but I send announcements that are quite personalized to the particular section. I don't wanna include all my announcements in my new section. I wanna redo all my announcements from scratch, but that may not be the way you do it. But anyway, I'm gonna select specific content. If you select all contents, just follow along the video because everything else should be pretty easy but I wanna show you what happens when you select specific course content. Now this, this is one of the cool features. You can adjust events and due dates. How about that? So notice I'm importing something from the spring semester into a fall semester. So all of my assignments, if I don't adjust due dates, they'll just import and they'll show the past due dates. Now I could go into all those assignments and manually adjust them, but Canvas does a not half bad job of adjusting your due dates. So here's what you do. And if you wanna do this feature, you will essentially have to go back to your previous course and get the start and end dates um, so that you can plug them in. But you know that's not a hard thing to do. Um, so anyway, so here is what you're gonna do. You're going to change the due dates from that past semester uh, to the new date. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'm just gonna speed up the process so that you don't see all of that. All right, so you'll notice that I just pressed the uh, done button, but we're not actually done because we still have to select the actual course content that we're going to um, import over. Remember, we're not importing everything. If you If you did select all course content, you won't see this step. But the cool thing is now I can figure out what I want to do. So I definitely want to uh, give the modules. I want to give the syllabus body, which is you know all of the lists of assignments and how they're listed in Canvas. I want to do all of my assignments. Uh, I don't want to do any quizzes. I don't want to do any question banks. 
Um, I, discussion topics is going to be the discussion boards you use. And I believe they will uh, also import not only the board itself, but any prompts that you used for your students to actually um, start discussions. Pages, I definitely wanna do that. That's every single page that you have here. Let me just play with something and see. Oh, right, so if you wanna get even more micro, you can actually select and deselect certain pages that you have here. So if you want to import the Project 2 calendar but not the Project 3 calendar, you could select that. That's pretty nifty. But I actually wanna do all of my pages. I find it easier to import all of my pages and then deselect or deactivate any pages um, on the back end once it's imported. Now here's the thing, I do not want to import my announcements. Um, if you import your announcements, it will just import every announcement you did in the previous section. I just find that to be less than helpful. I wanna import the rubrics. Those are all of the, the rubrics that you use and they will attach to your assignments automatically. And all of my files, here's the cool thing, that I can actually select and deselect files. So I'm gonna go through this real quick uh, and then I will speed everything up so you don't have to see it, but there are certain files that I'm actually not gonna import, so I'm going to deselect those now. I'll see you in a second. All right, I'm back. So once we do this, uh, I have everything checked that I want checked and I have everything unchecked that I want unchecked. We will select contents, current job, it's queued. It will usually take a few minutes. You can hang out on this page if you want or you can go do something else for a few minutes and then come back. I'll see you in a second on the flip side. Bang, it says completed. It says there are four issues. Uh, so there are four things that either couldn't roll over correctly or maybe had problems with. I'm suspecting that some of these are the due dates. I'm just gonna go look at that. So, okay, uh, modeling links found, missing link. Okay, so there's some missing links here. Uh, so what you might wanna do is keep those in mind because sometimes what happens is that a link that you import, it checks all the links, the, the links out to other websites and things to see is are all the links active here. And sometimes your links deactivate, maybe a link that worked before, somehow the website was taken down or modified or the web address changed. What you wanna do is just make a note of all of those things um, so that you can go back and maybe relink or create a new link or something like that. So. I wanna show you what now happens. Yeah, look at this. All right, everything here, wow, everything works. Look at this, look at this, okay, good. So what I would recommend that you do though is you will wanna go into your assignments and even though it rolls over dates, Different semesters have different time windows. So some semesters are 15 weeks, some semesters are 14 weeks, for instance. So it may not roll over your dates exactly. I would still recommend going through with your syllabus and making sure that all of the due dates are accurate. I mean, they look October, November, December. Um, these, these are all uh, dates that look like they're in the spring, so it didn't, look like it rolled everything over exactly. There must have been an error with, with doing that. Usually it works pretty well, but I'm gonna have to go through my due dates still, even though I rolled everything over, and just do these again, which isn't a really big deal, but hopefully it works for you and rolls everything over. So I would just look at all of the due dates you have just to make sure they're accurate. Okay, so that's is as simple as that. It, it's uh, If you need to relook at anything, rewatch anything, go ahead if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments, me or someone else, we can address those comments. But really, Canvas makes things pretty easy, so good luck to you.